Hello all, today we will design this HTML5 banner in Google Web Designer. I will show you complete process how you can design this HTML5 banner in Google Web Designer. This HTML banner is repeating three times after eight or nine seconds. So I will show you complete process how you can design this. So first of all, I have created this design in Photoshop. I have created all the separate layers in Photoshop like this, all right? So now, to convert this PSD into HTML5 banner, I have separated all the images from my PSD in, in images folder like this. I will now create this quick export and I will set all the slices in the in the separate folder so this every element I have which I want to animate I will create separate PNG from from my PSD all right like this okay now i will pause my video and get back once i have com completed all these images now i have exported all the images from my banner so now i will check i will select all the images and i will check the size of uh, of the um Exported PNGs. So this is 151 KP. So this is quite big. So our Google had allow only 150 KP in our HTML banners. So I will try to compress this all these images by I will go to the website compressor.io and I will compress all these images. All right. I will drag all my images here. Once compression is done, I will download all the images here and I will extract all the images and in the in the Google Web, Web Designer, I will use these images, compressed images. Now the size is only 47 KB. That looks good. So now let's get started on Google Web Designer. So I will create new file. I will name a specification of the Google banner size. So this type of banner is called half page ad. And the size, I will save my banner in the same folder here okay i will use this destination here now i will choose the environment which is google ads and i will select the size 300 by 600 and press okay now i will Drag all images to the library of Google Web Designers, and now I select all the images and drag to my canvas. All right. Now I will. Set all the elements as per my design in the PS. So now I will reduce the
for better view I can disable this the names here labels I can set them off like this All right, once it's set, I will preview this in the browsers to check if it looks good. All right. Everything looks good, okay? Now I will start animating this. I can change the order of these layers so it will help me to animate these better. Alright. Now I will select all the layers right click on it and insert keyframe all right now once again i will go to one second here and now i will create another keyframe on all the layers all right one second is too much we can reduce the size timeline here i will increase the preview here okay put this timeline on the first keyframe okay and now i want to animate this scars it will come from the right side like this and i will go to the properties panel increase the size a bit zero point five once I animate it will come like this okay now I will change the easing of this one easy is ease out okay like this now I will choose this second layer drive this drive the text will come from above like this and I will set this opacity to zero fill opacity will be zero same like this text here it will slide in from the left and I will set the opacity to zero as well this will come from bottom here like this after this, this text will come from right. I will set the opacity to zero for this one. It will come from bottom here. Fill opacity zero. I can increase the size. like this this way like this all right so now i will change the earring to ease all right now i will Set the animation of this tag to 
I will set it to 5 and opacity will be 0. Alright, now I will set the ease. And each other. So this animation will look like this one. So I will preview it in my browser by control and enter. It will load like this. All right. If I refresh, I can see this one like this. All right. So basically, I now what I will do, I will remove this first keyframe. This one first click and delete this one. Delete from all the layers. All right. And delete. Okay. Now I will drag it to left. And the second one, I will move it to right. And now I will adjust. In the timeline, all the layers in the timeline, like when this this animation will appear, okay, like this one by one, okay. Like this. I'll do that now, okay. Now if I must now if we can preview this this one look like this like this all right for this button now I will on around five seconds I will create new keyframe here one more key keyframe now I will change the size to 1.2 once again one and now once again no one okay I can use this so now if you preview now You see this bouncing effect. Now this at this point this banner is repeating only one time. So Google says that any banner can repeat up to 30 seconds. It should not exceed 30 seconds, but it can repeat within 30 seconds. All right. So we can set repeat here. Now I will add one label here. I will say it repeat. From this label it will repeat. Once timeline reaches here, I will add event here. Okay. Timeline go and play n times. It will go to the label repeat label and it will repeat two times. All right. Now if we preview like this, this manner will repeat three times here like this, okay? So now, now we can publish this one. We can publish it on Google Drive, Studio and Companion Manager. We can publish it locally. Or uh, uh, before that, we can check the add if our add is validate. See, 
or all checks are green so we are good to publish all right we can publish it locally and before that we can publish we can check the validation checks all checks are clear so we can add border around our banners we can select the border color from here okay now this is good now this one okay if now it's published on our local drive we can check on this one like this one is the published version we can share this with our clients or we can upload this to our google ad campaigns and this will work fine so guys here is the final banner let me know in the comments how you find this tutorial and if you have any questions or comments please do let me know in the comments below and do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so once i upload the new content you will get notifications if you want to learn about how i design this banner you can check my channel you will find a lot of tutorials on different topics you can design this banner in any software you want photoshop illustrator or any other designing software so thank you very much for your time and you can let me know if you need any help i would like to help you in any way all right thank you very much for your time and have a great day